Hi everyone, Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. So it's exciting that we get to put some really cool plants along the border here. Thanks to Taylor and Stefan for cleaning up the area. But one of the plants that I'm going to plant is from Garts and Meister. And they're out of Oregon and they really like to sell the unique and different plants, which is perfect for me. So the one that we're doing is the Black Tower Elderberry. Now we grow a lot of elderberry, but the Black Tower is supposed to be the premium out of them. So um, as you know, with the new craze of elderberry for your health, this will fit in. But these are tall, they go up to five foot and not very wide plants exactly. They go six to eight foot tall and three to four wide. And I'm going to use them along this pathway. So I want a straight, tall, narrow plant. The elderberry will cover that. Plus with the black leaves, it'll be impressive looking. Let me show you how to put them in. Alright, whenever you put some bushes in, I want to make them parallel to the house. So I'm not going to follow this borderline, which turned out to be like two feet off. Go measure from the house, and that way you got your starting point. So I have this string, and then I know I have to put my bushes along here. Also important is to get an exact measurement. Remember, these are tall, narrow. If you're off just a little bit, you're always going to see that. It's hard to move. So, and then just measure until you're happy with that distance. So for these, I'm doing roughly three feet apart. Okay, now that I have that established, then I start the fun part. I dig Okay, hole. I ran into a problem in this hole. This is, must have been where the old sink was. This is where my old house was that burned down. So I noticed underneath here is an abnormal amount of clay. If it was annuals, I wouldn't bother. But with a perennial that doesn't like to be soaked, I have to take care of the problem. What I've done is drilled a very deep hole and I'm going to fill it with gravel. That way there's always a place for the water to go. Alright, so not only did we fill the holes, I put a couple inches of gravel. So now I won't worry about the plants as much. Alright, the next step is we finally get to put the plants in. But I'm just not going to drop them in the ground. I dug a little two, three inches extra and I'm going to put the fertilizer on the bottom of that three inches. I want the roots to stretch out and go for it. So let me show you how I do that. All right. So first I have a handful and I'm just using organic natural food. Later on in the summer I put a liquid on. So all I do is sprinkle it in here and kind of work it in and that's it. If you put the fertilizer right on the roots, they don't have to work to go and spread. Everything's right there, but they won't get the root system they need for the winter. Then I'm putting some compost next and I'm just kind of packing that down a little bit. Then I put my plant on. The roots on this, it's got some nice root system. So maybe that's a difference of getting it from them. Okay, then I'm gonna pack a mixture of compost and just the soil that was here around it. So 
we finished. All four of the black tower elderberries are in. They look fabulous, and I have to say their root system was incredible. So next time you want to do an exotic or something different, try going to Gardenmeister. It's a great nursery. And um, this is Sabrina from Campbell's Freedom Farm. Have a great day.